Hey guys, a new skin on Khalid has just been released, so I just wanted to see how it looks in game. But little did I know, this match will become one of the most one-sided game ever, in terms of skills and kills, as you saw from the intro. I would highly recommend to watch till the end, because this one is definitely one of the most intense games I have ever played. I like to build Khalid with just two offensive items, and the rest are sustained items, because Khalid usually dominates in the early game, but in the late game, he becomes a lot easier to deal with. In this game, apparently our S1 player lost really badly in the previous match. I didn't think much of it because that could happen when your overall team is not doing great. But keep these comments in mind because the whole picture is going to unfold later into the video. To make things even more interesting, our S5 doesn't really play marksman or core. It seems like we were doomed right from the start. So by looking at the comments, it seems like Gushion and Balmon were together in the previous game. According to Gushion, Balmon went 1-9 in the previous match. I thought there was no way he was gonna play like that again. Khalid is so insanely strong in the early game, I had to take maximum advantage of it and try to make their choke quite on their farm. Balmon already gave them the first blood, I was starting to get a little bit concerned. Everything is only measurable with the honest eyes. Look at this, I'm at level 3 while he's still level 1. If you know that your hero has the upper hand in the early game, Take advantage of it and don't let the opposition farm so easily. Paquito is getting out of control already. What an absolutely interesting start. We are already down by 2k gold at minute 3, and the gold difference will just keep increasing as the game progresses. Silence gives consent. Honestly, my hands were ready to put down the tablet and move on to the next game. But my brain was telling me that if somehow, in some way, we managed to pull a miracle and actually make a comeback, this will become an extremely interesting content. So I decided to just keep playing and still try my best. 
Now that the enemies have such a huge advantage, they can easily come our jungle. They know how to take advantage of the situation. We cannot really fight them at the moment, it's more important to defend the other lanes instead. Paquito has been really fed by my teammates, there's no way I can fight him at this point. I have to play extremely passive and just hug the turret. Just look at the difference in gold. The opposition has 5k gold ahead of us. This is getting more and more interesting. The score is 2 to 16. What will you do in this situation? Paquito is gonna do the same thing I was doing to their Cho in the early game. The role has been completely reversed. I would have preferred if he wasn't too aggressive and would have invited me to dinner first. But since he insisted, That's why you have to be careful what you wish for. Winky face. I think there's a bug with Kali at the moment. Look how slow I'm moving after I step on the cyclone thingy. So I decided to test it in custom mode. And it seemed like it doesn't happen all the time, but only sometime. Onward. We win or we die. Also, I noticed that the way to fix the movement speed is by staying still for a brief moment and it will reset back to the normal speed. When we get one kill, the opposition gets two to three kills. Just look at the score. Instead of trying to fight them, I thought the only chance I could manage to pull this one off is by split pushing. I saw that many of the enemies are distracted, so I decided to just keep pushing. It's really important to know when you should join the team fights and when you should split push instead. These small but crucial in-game decisions are usually will increase your chance at winning the game even when everything else seems to be not in your favor. After that incredible save, I thought I was invincible. I have ascended to the realm of the immortals. This is showtime. Was it all a mirage?
I just noticed that Johnson doesn't have boots and didn't build tank items at all. This is really fascinating. The Lord is in the bottom lane, so I thought there was a chance that if they tried to take the Lord, I could use that distraction and push the top lane all the way. Or if somebody tries to defend, then I can rotate and fight them in a 5v4 situation. Everything is only measurable with the honest eyes. The whole enemy team is distracted in the middle lane. This is my chance to split push. Remember, objectives win games, not kills. Only on very few occasions, killing the enemies is more important. They didn't even take the Lord after killing three of us because I forced them to come back to defend their base. Oh, now I see why Gushan and Paquito were furious at Balmon. I didn't think we could push the middle lane when they are still all alive, so I decided to split push the bottom lane instead. Go learn from my previous tactic, now he's trying to replicate it. Even Paquito tried to do the same. Nice try.
I still couldn't believe we actually won this game. This was definitely one of the games that had the most doubt about making a comeback. That's because I'm not playing a hero that is extremely good in the late game or insanely good at defending the base. So getting this win was extremely satisfying. So I hope that you guys also found this video really entertaining and if you did, consider leaving a like and subscribing, thanks. Not sure why Cho got a bronze medal when he has a 6.2 score, but even so, his score is still higher than the rest of my team. XT